I found the ultimate 3D modeling software and it is absolutely insane. The stuff this software can do is literally impossible in Blender and unfortunately it always will be. That is unless you use CAD. This software is called Plasticity and needless to say it is crazy powerful. I want to show you some amazing stuff it can do that you simply can't achieve in Blender. Number one, bevels through booleans. Now let's say I were in Blender and I had a shape like this and I wanted to cut a hole and then run a bevel. We'll encounter two primary issues. One is with shading and two is with the bevel. Now I won't explain why these issues occur, but it is very important to know why they occur if you're a Blender user. And that's why I've created a completely free topology guide that you can download below. It's only a few pages long and after reading it, you'll be much more comfortable with booleans and how topology and shading issues occur in Blender specifically. So as you can see here in Blender, the shading is pretty nasty and if I want to run a bevel, it simply won't work. Obviously, there are plenty of workarounds here such as using the offset cut feature with Mesh Machine, but let's be real, it's annoying to have to deal with that in the first place, but not with plasticity. Check this out, if I perform the same operations with plasticity, I don't have to deal with shading errors or bevel issues. Since this object isn't defined by polygons, shading issues don't occur and the bevels are flawless. Plasticity uses a geometry kernel that utilizes complex mathematical functions to achieve these types of operations. Essentially, the mesh is created with mathematics as opposed to polygons, so you can't really compare operations in CAD versus operations in Blender or Maya, for example. This is super powerful because I basically get to bypass some of the common problems we run into with Blender. Now, the next thing I wanna show you is how to use sweeps and lofts. This isn't really possible in Blender, but in CAD, it's just a few clicks. Check this out. If I have a square, triangle, circle, and a rectangle, I can extrude these into each other so the shape slowly conforms to each shape in the iteration. And just like that, I can create some crazy, smooth, organic objects. Good luck achieving that in Blender because it simply isn't possible. Now in Blender, sometimes you'll run into these really weird corner issues. For example, if I try to add a bevel here, it simply won't work, but with CAD, no problem. The complex mathematical operations happening behind the scenes are what allow this to occur. Now there are so many additional features plasticity has and I'm only just getting started learning everything myself. And before I end this video, I've saved the best for last. This tool is absolutely insane and it will allow you to use both plasticity and Blender together. I've actually heard there will be a plugin that allows you to design shapes in plasticity and have them update directly in Blender, but that's it's not here yet and currently it's just a rumor don't know if it's true. Now imagine how powerful it would be to create some impossible shapes in plasticity and bring them into Blender. Well, it's possible, and that's because plasticity has an export feature. Literally all you do is you click export, adjust the resolution, and choose your type of topology. I just choose Engon because it's the cleanest. Now you just import it into Blender and you can get fancy and even render it if you wanted to. I could even take this model and use our brand new Material Works add-on to drop on on some PBR hard surface materials in two clicks. And this, in my opinion, is the ultimate hard surface modeling workflow. You can use plasticity for stuff that simply isn't possible in Blender, and you can use Blender for your normal hard surface modeling workflow. I still prefer Blender simply due to the speed and efficiency, but there are situations where you're kinda stuck, and that's where plasticity can come in. I definitely look forward to seeing how this program advances, and you can use the link below to purchase the software. If you'd like some additional hard surface modeling resources and tutorials, check out some of our guides over on blunderbros.com. And as always, thanks for watching. I definitely hope to get more plasticity content out in the future, but for now, I'm still learning it myself. I just wanted to show you how powerful it is. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.